Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. This week, the UIL will vote on an issue impacting where high school football playoff games are played across the state. If it's approved, it would allow schools and 4A and smaller to host first round playoff games. Channel 6 News reporter Curtis Quillen is live at the Wildcat Stadium in Temple, where some of those first round games have been hosted in the past. Curtis. Well, guys, in the playoffs, it's all about facilities, which in Texas high school football has been an arms race since the beginning of time. Now, schools in our area with nicer, bigger stadiums and with turf fields like Lorena are excited about the possible change. But Salado football coach Alan Hare says he would rather go to a bigger, a nicer stadium than what they have in Salado, something like Wildcat Stadium here behind me in Temple, which is a popular destination come, play, come playoff time. Some schools like Salado play on grass fields and most high school playoff games are played on artificial turf. Plus, some don't have the bleacher space of the Lorenas, the Temples and the Waco ISD stadiums of the world. In fact, Hare says there are times during the regular season they have to bring in extra bleachers to create space and would have to do so if they hosted a playoff game. Having that space for the fans is important because as Hare points out, more people go to playoff games than the regular season. I would say 30 or 40 percent more, you know, uh, you, you have your aunts and uncles and grandparents be able to come and that may be some of their last uh, time they ever get the chance to see them play. And so some of the ones, you know, they wait till the playoffs to follow you. As the deeper you go, more people are going to show up that would normally show up to your ball games, but their team's knocked out or they want to go see another high school ball game. Now, both coaches added part of making the playoffs is being able to offer their kids an experience they'll remember for the rest of their lives. And part of that does include the stadiums they play in tonight at 10. We'll dive deeper into the proposal UIL is expected to vote on, plus how what the cost is some of these schools face when they go to rent a neutral site stadium during the high school football playoffs. For now, live in Temple, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 Sports, guys. All right, Curtis, thank you very much.